hi. My name is Darren. I'm the drummer for Mute Math, and this is my kit. I've used it both on recordings and live for quite some time. I have a whole lot of drums. Um, I prefer vintage, old drums from at least the 70s or earlier. Um, my favorite piece is my 1940s WFL 15 inch snare drum that I bought out of a dude's garage back in Missouri where I'm from for 80 bucks and this snare has been with me for a decade now every record from our first record through our fourth and most recent record vitals I've used this snare not exclusively but it's always at least on a couple songs and then uh, just a good old 1960s pre CBS buyout so you know before 67 Rogers kit um, that I also got a real sweet deal on and then these roto toms are uh, they're a gift from my father-in-law uh, my wife basically married uh, a near carbon copy of her father who's also a drummer and goofball and I really lucked out whenever we got married he just blessed me with an attic full of drums that he had acquired over his over his lifetime. Uh, Istanbul cymbals are the best because they sound the best and uh, so you know 14 inch cymbal is a 22 and I only use that people often comment about the simplicity of the kit the fact that I don't use resident heads and the fact that I put so much tape on them so this is what I'm going for a, a muted or a no very little sustain right the nice thing about taking the heads off is you can stack them all inside each other like little nesting dolls. You don't have to buy so many drum keys whenever you're just starting out. This is a cool piece right here. It's called a Sinair. And the Sinair was made by Star Electronics in Dallas, Texas in the late 70s, early 80s. And it's a little space age looking two oscillator analog synth that just goes all that kind of stuff, you know? All those laser type sounds. So we got the drum gloves. This was an idea I had to try have a fun little gimmick for the show, and uh, you you have to put you probably have to put the microphone pretty close to this to here because I'm just coming out I'm coming out of the uh, laptop speakers, uh, so it's pretty quiet. But basically, what's happening is there's a little piezo trigger right there. We got these uh, drum gloves, and that's going into this custom-made Arduino computer. That's what's causing the lights to trigger. And the audio sense is going really this old drum cat. And here's what's infuriating about gear these days. A little thing called planned obsolescence. And all you electronics companies, we know what you're doing. You're making these cheap little adapters, cheap little circuits that break and fall apart. You know, I buy those rolling SPDSs and then they break, you buy them again. And they realize, well, if we get them to break every year, we'll have to buy three of them. Keep touring. So I use a 1980s drum cap for my triggers, and it's got this nice, sturdy metal power source. It's got a lot of trigger inputs, several MIDI outputs. It's made out of metal. They made things out of metal in the 80s. Still, for a while. <laughs> Anyhow, I, I pour water on it. I kick it. I drop it and it stays alive. You know, those other those cheap, cheap things that they sell these days, you can't take it. So, um, you know, sometimes it's better to buy old stuff. Sometimes it's obviously not. Uh, but that's that's my kit. Backup, backups for everything. I had a little backup thing I bought in Lawrence, Kansas the other day. Pretty little uh, Ludwig. And uh, I, got, I got a kit back home that matches it. So I like, oh, I have everything but the snare. So, I bought that. A big old, it's, uh, 24, I think, marching drum, and uh, this is another one of my, my father-in-law gave me. Obviously, somebody painted over it. It's kind of infuriating. It, it's obviously this beautiful gold sparkle, but somebody uh, painted over it. I think probably because part of the finish is missing right here. So on a day off, if I, if I feel bored, I think I'm going to try and get some I don't know, paint remover or thinner or something, and at least uh, get all this spray paint off of it. But. Uh, that's my setup out here on this emotional roadshow tour, and uh, yeah, I have a lot of fun.